Don't use AI for these things and what AI is actually really good at in the current state of 2025. So there's a lot of successful use cases in AI right now, but there's also a lot of unsuccessful use cases where the AI hype is really overblown and it's falling short. And one of the main problems with AI right now is that it hallucinates a lot. So I'll share with you the things that AI has been really, really good at. So co-pilots, it's been fantastic. So that's why video generation, image generation, all that stuff is really good because there's a human that looks at the result and then curates it to then be posted. It's not autonomous, right? Text generation in general. Coding assistance, like Cursor, Windsurf was bought by OpenAI for a crazy amount. Cursor is valued at $8 billion, but that's a co-pilot for coding. It generates a lot of really good quality code, but you still need a really good engineer to understand what's good and what's not, and to curate the output that's being given. Other things, for example, there's a startup that does insurance claims. So it will give it information, and then it will recommend to you what you should write in your insurance claim that will allow you to successfully get a claim. Again, that's also human in the loop because he's giving feedback, incorporating it or proposing it and the human reviews it and then submits it to the insurance company. Okay, so what also works is really defined problem spaces. So really specific tasks. It's really, really specific and highly defined. So for example, fraud detection, radiology, image recognition. This space is expanding over time, but this is an area that it's really, really good at and machine learning before was already doing. So it's continuing on those work. What's emerging is driving and robotics. Right? But even those have defined problem spaces. For robotics, it's like in a factory doing really specific repeatable tasks, right? That's not like general robot out in the wild. Driving is a really specific map, like in the urban city, that's always the same, right? And so they've defined those problem spaces makes it really good. Now what's where AI doesn't do well is autonomous AI agents, which is what a lot of people have been talking about. But a lot of these AI agents have been failing at steps like after three or four or five because you have something that's just guessing. AI is a really good guessing machine, right? And it guesses really well. But for some problems that are too open, it doesn't guess the right way and it doesn't produce the result that you want, at least not 100% of the time or close to 95% of the time. And so times AI agents are not working really well and a lot of use cases are just too wide open. So AI is great, but it's only good for very specific things and for other things, the hype may not be, or it's not ready yet to be delivered. And not to say that it, it won't change, it's definitely changing. The space is changing super fast. It's just, this is the first iteration as, as a lot of famous entrepreneurs and you know, Elon Musk says, it takes about three iterations for something to really work. And for this new autonomous AI agents, for something AI that's truly autonomous, it's still early, it's still early days.